Hey guys, I'm Felipe with Streaming Bundles and today we're going to teach you how to set up your PreSonus audio interface. The PreSonus audio interface has everything you need to set up your XLR microphone and have it sound absolutely awesome. Here we have a view of the front of the unit with an XLR microphone plugged into the first port. You can toggle sound levels on the fly, headphone gain, as well as your mix in real time. More importantly, the unit provides 48 volt phantom power to your XLR devices. Please only toggle this on if you're using a condenser microphone, not a dynamic. First thing we're going to do is grab our XLR, it only goes in one way, and we're going to plug it in to our first XLR port on the left. Now we're going to go and plug in our headphones to the back of the unit. Alright, so now we're going to set up our audio box in Windows 10. It's the same thing for Windows 7. If you have a Mac, it's a little bit different, but first thing you want to do is you want to go to the PreSonus website and download your driver. So you're going to go to support and then you're going to go to downloads and you're going to find your AudioBox USB and you're going to need this software depending on what operating system you're using. So if you're on Windows, you're going to download the Windows version, obviously, and if you're on Mac, you're going to download Universal Control for Mac. Either or, it's very straightforward, very simple. Now we're going to go ahead and download this. We're going to execute it. And it's going to basically do a step-by-step -step install. You might have to restart. But at the end of the install, um, it might or may not ask you to restart your computer. I would restart the computer anyways, just to be safe. And then when you boot back up in Windows, what's going to happen is you're going to plug in your audio box to your USB port on your computer. And then you're going to see this little application pop up. It's called Universal Control. And then you'll know, okay, it recognizes my audio box. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Now, before we get into this, I want to talk a little bit about Windows default settings because Windows has a bit of uh, idiosyncrasy when you go to setup. So we're going to right click here and go to recording devices and we should be able to see our audio box. It's going to show up right there. It's going to show there's a level there and I'm going to go ahead and double click this and we want to do certain things here. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to levels and we want to make sure this is maxed out. Now what this is is essentially uh, gain on the line as it's recognized by Windows and we want to give it a hundred percent and then what we're going to do is anytime we want to control the audio levels for our audio box we're going to go ahead and use the controls on the front of the panel itself so max this out to a hundred and then on the enhancements tab you want to make sure we disable all enhancements now make sure this is checked we don't want to alter the sound any further and we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to click apply or we're going to click OK. Now when it comes to playback, you do remember that your audio box comes with a input for headphones on the back. Now I like to use this input because it allows me to monitor or check the sound level on my microphone directly with no latency. So I'll plug in my headphones in the back and then I'll be able to control through the knobs in the front what that sounds like and there's also a knob that mixes the audio from directly from the input device meaning our microphone so it so it listens to the microphone directly if you if you shift that knob all the way to the left and if you shift that knob to the right it's gonna give you windows audio so we can listen to whatever we've recorded I leave it somewhere in the middle or most of the time it's all the way to the right and it's just going to sound like a, a regular sound card. So once we're done with these settings, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure that our recording is set up correctly. So right now I'm using OBS to record this tutorial. OBS is obviously open broadcaster software, but I want to show you what I mean by I want to monitor my audio level. So this is Adobe Audition. You you have a, it's basically a, a software to record audio. Um, you also have Audacity, which is free. But you want to go ahead and make sure that your hardware is correctly 
configured here. So you want to make sure that your input device is set to your audio box and your output device is set to either the speakers that you have or an audio out on the same audio box. Or in this case, I want the headphones on my, on my audio box. So I'm going to go ahead and click okay. And I'm going to record and I'm going to call this test. And you're going to see immediately this bar down here. And what this bar represents is how loud I am talking. You can see the waveform immediately right here. When I'm quiet, it goes completely down to zero, which is perfect. That's what we want. It means that our condenser microphone is picking up our voice, but it's not picking up silence and it's not picking up any background noise. So that's perfect. Now, the other thing that we want to do is when it comes to spoken word, we want to be between negative 10 and negative 12 dB. So we want the average of our regular speaking voice to fall somewhere in this range. And I'll explain to you the way um, dBs work in a second, but essentially uh, this is a logarithmic scale um, and zero is, is really loud. That's all you really need to know. You never want it to get to zero. Anytime it gets to zero or close to zero, you start to see it goes into the red, right? And what's going to happen if, is, if it goes all the way into the red and past zero, it means it's going to clip. And clipped audio sounds incredibly distorted. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as possible. A lot of times in our recordings, we're going to see that uh, we get excited and we raise our voice and it still won't clip, right? But if I shout, cover your ears. Ah! Sorry about that. You can see that it totally clipped. And when we go and listen to that recording, you can see the waveform here. What I mean by clipping is it goes outside of bounds. So anything that's over that is going to sound awful. It's just going to sound atrocious. And um, again, just, just a fair warning. We want to we wanna limit that as much as possible. And... Really what you want to do is using the knobs in the front of your audio box, you're going to be able to adjust the gain on your microphone and it's going to be a lot easier than having to dig through menus and, and, you know, just, just doing that in the middle of a stream or in the middle of a recording. It's much easier to have it right in front of your fingertips. And at the same time, I'm just going to show you what that sounds like. If, if I start lowering my gain, start seeing that it goes down into the green. If I start raising it, you're gonna start seeing I get a little louder and it starts clipping. So again, going back to where we were, I wanna be in this beautiful range, 10 to 12 dBs, and that's gonna sound perfect. And that's about it for setting up our audio box. Uh, there's a lot more to it in terms of recording and the specific software that we wanna use, but as far as setting up our device, that's all we need to do. Thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy your new audio box. Bye-bye.